<laughs> I mean, what? Pool of blood with five... That sounds like hell. Exactly, that's so dry. Fire, I can't remember. When you think about it, hell must sound really cool. We should just be bad in this life. And we'll get to go down to hell with all the cool people. Uh, what is it? I don't I'm starting to understand too. the Satanist point of view now. Please, please enlighten me about the Satanist point of view. I want to know. Well, you know, all, all the cool people are all the people who give in to the sin thingies and then they end up in hell. So all the cool people end up in hell. So if you end up there, then you get to drink blood with all the cool people while bathing in fire. And it's like the most fun afterlife. In in different news, this is literally the easiest boss fight in this entire game. If you okay, uh, so, I struggled with it, but I think yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah, easier. That's because you're a scrub. It's pretty. Okay. This is true. Okay, so all this. Okay, so this boss will spawn flowers if there are no flowers. Each flower only has a hundred health. And so, it's incredibly easy to get it stuck in a loop, where you just you know, AOE it down, AOE the flowers down, and lock it into spawning flowers. You know, or, or alternatively, there are two ways you could have done things. One, you could have used a death class spell, which you didn't get. This is a blue magic spell, <laughs> which, which will instantly kill it. Or you could have used um, tight, or you could use golem, which you also didn't get, to make yourself immune to all its damage. Only, yeah. <laughs> I mean, considering that you don't have these few tactics available to you, you're actually doing pretty well. Well, it doesn't help. Yeah, that because this boss of AI is bad. Yeah, like it does. It... What, what, what was the what, what was the M Night Shyamalan movie which had the twist that the trees were killing people? Was that the happening? Um, I thought the happening was the one for aliens. Maybe it was, but I think no, that was the tree one. Yeah, that was the, definitely the tree one. Okay, so yes. apparently feeding them water to drink actually hurts them. Yeah. What kind of plants are these? Well, that's, well that's, no, it's, that's an actually... it's an actual thing. If you drown a well, plant, I mean... it dies. Okay, yeah, if you like drown, drown a plant. That's well, like look, give... think about like, the thing about it, like, so the plant is a person, right? Imagine a plant is a person, right? So you give the person a glass of water. The person's like, wow, it takes a glass of water. Then, the next time, you waterboard the person. You know? It's still a glass <laughs> it's, it's of water. Well, as yeah. we water all water. know, and as, as we, we all know, the United States Congress and Supreme Court have ruled that plants are people, just like corporations. So well, therefore, you can't waterboard them. Wait, can't did they actually plants. rule that? Is that an actual what? thing now? It's something what? politicians what? say. Oh. Uh. I don't know what well, their actual Michigan, legal standing is, but I Michigan doubt they're literally me. people. And, well, I hear, I hear that Michigan trees are just the right height. Tempting so then, tango. It's, and then Wait, it actually tries, worked. He tries to seduce a plant. No, it didn't actually work. It's... It just happened. Um... Yeah, this is a fight. It, it's not a hard fight, it just takes them. So if you get the, the, the death pot magic, it would be an instant kill. Well, it's not an instant kill. It, it lowers him to one HP. Oh, uh, single so. digit HP. Ten AP. Yeah, ten AP is pretty decent. Like, it's not objet de art. Objet da. Obje well, actually, da. it's better than objet de art. It's just it's not da. better than lots of da. objet de art. Da. See, no, the, 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 I'm going to be culturally ignorant. I'm going to call them object dark. See, see, see that's that's because you're British. And yeah, you're and like you have French the football. massivist hate burner for the French. It's it's cultural. Like <laughs> oh, we do. It, it it goes back to William the Conqueror because he was like, "Fuck you, French king. I'm going to be king of England." And the Pope was like, "Yeah, bro, I've got your back. Go be king of England." And so that's exactly how it happened. That, no, that's actually literally how it happened. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. No, just just for our less educated, um, not less educated. Um, yeah. Um, 
And so, William was all like, yo, like, Harold of Godwin. I didn't like, pause just at that moment for you to explain it. Um, <laughs> yo, Harold of Godwin, like, give me your throne. Like, my grandmother was, like, the princess of England. Like, I totally have a claim to your throne. And Harold's like, nah, man, like... No, no, then, no, no, William's like, I have the claim yeah. to the throne yeah. of and England. Then, and Harold's like, Norway. And, and that's then, how it went. And, and then, then Harold, the great Harold of Hardraid of Norway is like, shit, I also have a claim. Harold of Godwin, bro, like, move over. He's like, nah, man. Nah. And then, I remember learning about this, it was boring. And then a ton Sorry. of, like, soldiers <laughs> and stuff died. Harold Hardraid died at the Battle of Stanford Bridge. And then Harold of Godwin lost all of his armies, lost England to... Yeah, and that is why England is England, and why there are so many bloody French words in the English language. You know what confuses me? You know Stamford... Stamford Bridge is like, what, three feet long? How could you even have a battle there? Um... Shenanigans. Well... Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They just managed. <laughs> Somehow. It, was, it was just, it was just the both the generals of both armies just like bitch slapping each other. No, they were actually having a rock paper scissors fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, bro, if I win, like my guys, gonna be king of England. Dude, you're on. You're so fucked. That should on. be how. That should be how all modern politicians should settle all disputes. Uh, like, except no. <laughs> Oh, so we want to evade, invade Iraq and take all that oil, so we ha challenged the Iraq no. president <laughs> No, rock, paper, no. they didn't invade for oil, they invaded for sweet, precious freedom. No, but we're, In no, the form but of oil. We're just saying, we're saying for the sake of this uh, scenario, they're invading for oil. M meanwhile, the Final Fantasy characters are breaking it into their own <laughs> castle. Yeah, because... Well, obviously, Ga yeah, Ganoff they're breaking into their own castle for oil. You, you, you see, they're swimming in oil right now. It's, that's what's in the moat. Yeah. Obviously, Galuf challenges soldiers to a rock paper scissors fight, and if he wins, then they'll know it's him, and they'll let him in. If he fails, then they'll know it's just a monster pretending to be him, and then they'll kill him. Because that... Galuf never loses rock paper scissors fights. No, because he just punches you until you give up. No, like... that's cheating. No, he is a master of the fistomancy, and rock, part, paper, scissors is a sub-discipline of the fistomancy. Ah, uh, It's actually fistomancy, is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> I see. This makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Fascinating. Oh yeah, this is like nearly the end, isn't it? Yeah, um... And then, Invisible Wall stops you from moving forward, because... Because this game likes invisible walls for some reason. It's not even really an invisible wall, it's just a tile that triggers a cutscene. Because Kryle is apparently sick for some reason, and is being psionically talked to by some sage. Oh, game developers? Like, we've moved past the stage where we need invisible walls to stop us from going places, so if you add these in games, then just fuck you. Like, we no, don't what they, need them anymore. What they use Wait. now is, like, 30-minute cutscenes of why... Yeah. What they like, could do is be, like, freaking Final Fantasy XIV. As soon as you talk to this one NPC, you're subjected to two and a half straight hours of cutscenes of people dying, except not really. <laughs> but well, to be fair with that, you can at least yeah. skip the cutscenes and just watch them in the end. Well, isn't that, like, sort of spoilery to Techno? Because he hasn't actually gotten up to that in two um, to Which three bit? Never mind. You're not to know about that. Uh, I'll they wasn't even paying attention okay. anyways. Yeah. Nah. People died, but not the... really. Um... Welcome to Final Fantasy IV. Yeah. <laughs> and like <laughs> yeah, since, I say the same since... Well, that's, yeah, that's another thing. Having's word borrows. <laughs> And also, Bismarck totally rips off a of Final Fantasy X without even sin. It really does, like, that's what I, like, that's and what I And the entire Giovanni's sequence is like a better version of Final Fantasy IX. Wait, there's is no such thing as a better version of Final Fantasy IX. I, I totally remake it. So. 
No, they said they were they making Dirge Cerberus. No, they were making Dirge Cerberus instead. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, Dirge Cerberus is totally profitable. Everyone just loves that game. Dirge Cerberus yeah. is a legendary game. That's the it's best game of Invisible so Walls. Well. That's the best game of Invisible Walls ever. Does it actually have Invisible Walls? Yeah, we should play, we okay. play Dirge Cerberus. Okay, that's that's actually giving me a sufficient reason to hate a game I've never played. Well, no, the real reason to hate Dojo Service is because it has a love interest between uh, Vincent and a nine-year-old girl. That's the reason we should hate Dojo Service. <laughs> Isn't it like the creepiest thing ever? Something like a twenty, the like the like the mind or whatever, or something no, no, like no, a twenty-something girl in like this a means that Dojo Service has the same plot as the last Twilight book. <laughs> no, the, last, the last Twilight book has has the werewolf guy falling in love with an unborn baby. Um, not quite as bad. I swear this is the curse of our Let's Plays. So whenever there's a sad scene going on with sad music, we always have to talk about something completely irrelevant. Well, to be fair, well, it's because like these cutscenes are just like... They are incredibly, incredibly generic, well, as bad as it sounds. It's like, serious sadness. When Bart's is coming up with his failure, uh, failure profanity, and now, Bonding. yeah, this game wasn't very good at sad scenes, with a few exceptions. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree it was good at that. sad music, but it wasn't very good at sad scenes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want someone to come behind me and play sad music at, at times in my lives. Uh, sad, and you know. There's just a guy with a violin behind me who follows me. He just waits for the perfect cup team. Like, he waits until I trip and fall in the mud and he starts playing the violin. And I'm like, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you, you want a storm cloud that, like, flies over you whenever that happens as well? He's like, it's, it's like thank, thank you, Johan, and I give him, you know, a $5 tip. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Johan. I think you'd get tired of that eventually. I don't know, it'd be... I think... For me, it'd be so funny, I just wouldn't give any shits. Um, and, yeah, um, now we have the Windrake, and I'm pretty sure this is again. where I end, yeah. Yeah, we now uh, have... Well, considering there are only 10 seconds left, I don't think you could end anywhere else. No, it's possible you could end in a few minutes. You know the future changed in the past, you could end.